Just like the space is completely naked, nothing can stick to space. Space cannot be clothed by anything. Just like that. Just like space is supporting everything. So how do we know there is space? We come to know space only because we have put the clothes on, clothes off, name and form on that space or say just form on that space. And now how do we know space? After we have put the form on the space. <coughs> Where there, wherever there is no form, we say that is space. Isn't it? That is our daily uh, interaction with the world, with the space. Essentially, the space is naked. Essentially, the space from space's point of view, nothing can be uh, uh, attached to it for its existence. Just like gold is absolutely naked. But how do we make the gold ours? By giving it a form called ornament. Mud is all that there is on the earth. But how do we use it or how do we make it useful for us? How do we interact with it apart from tramping it all the time? By giving it a shape of cup and saucer and pots and everything. But can, important point to uh, uh, contemplate, can all the ornaments put together be equal to gold? Can all the pots put together is equal to the entire mud? Similarly, are all the names and forms put together equal to space? Or is space, gold, mud, water, are they much more than the sum total of all the forms which have been superimposed on them. Think. Exactly the same way. This reality, this Guru Tattva, which is our essential nature, it also cannot, so no, remember, no form has the capacity and the capability to know its cause, to know its essence, because the form is limited, the name is limited, and that which is supporting all that is unlimited. Water is unlimited, wave is limited, gold is unlimited, in that sense, example sake, 
ornament is limited compared to the gold mud is unlimited pot is limited so can the limited one come to know the unlimited its essence exactly the same way who are we thinking ourselves to be right now right now you are a meditator you are listening to someone how you are listening through thoughts why are thoughts there because you have consider yourself to be the individual we can't remain in silence so continuously we keep filling up that silence with thoughts and words and ideas and concepts and thinking that this is knowledge no this is not knowledge word knowledge is the lower knowledge self knowledge without words or in spite of words is the true knowledge that is wisdom but we unknowingly we keep collecting wisdom from different means but that is not wisdom that is knowledge that is intellectual knowledge wisdom will dawn only when we abide in the self as the self for the self by the self i said that but what are we attempting all the time we are attempting to know the self through senses we want to search for god in the temples we want to search for god in the churches in the photograph in the sculpture which depicts the infinite in our intellect but how can yes it is we must do that but don't get lost in it this preoccupation of the individual to want to know the essence the guru tatva through the limited means it will never come to a fruition it will never come to conclusion an ornament can, can never come to know the infinite gold the limited wave can never come to know the unlimited waters similarly a limited thought which only appears for a minuscule moment in our mind an idea a concept we are never able to stay with it for so long we are using so many words but each word is limited with that we have come out in search of uh, the essence of ourselves of this thought of this mind in which the thoughts are coming of this individual and that essence is infinite unlimited unconstrained naked just like that space and there is no way that these limited means these limited instruments have the capacity or the capability in ever coming to know their cause or their essence see so what is to be done for us the essence is nitya shuddha buddha mukta swarup it's eternal it's ever pure it's unborn it is uh, uh, most ancient and it is my nature but then again these are words when we use the word krishna immediately some image pops up in our mind when we say rama immediately an image with 
bow and uh, a person standing with bow pops up in our mind when we say ganesh immediately an image with a trunk or head uh, elephant head it pops up in our mind similarly and all these are gods and uh, these are the representation of the divinity but when we say nitya eternal shuddha ever pure mukta ever free what image pops up in your mind we have used words there also we used words here also we are using words what has popped up in our mind nothing <laughs> see so there are no words there are no means there is no shortcut to the reality because we are essentially the reality okay i accept it but how do i realize it this mind is coming in between so what do i do to come to be that naked truth so how do we interact with the world name and form where is the form where is the form in the outside world where is the name is it in the world or is it in your mind or in your mouth in your mouth and mind isn't it speech is grossified thought is called speech so the form is out there and the name is in you alert from malware bytes agent version update available so the form is out there and the name is in me see how we have created the world so can i remove the form do i have the capacity to remove the form do i have the power to remove the form did i create the form at this moment no it was there <laughs> can i remove the corona no can i remove the ill health no can i remove my headache again i need a pill to remove the headache so can i remove the form of the world i can see these trees a beautiful uh, twilight in the morning i can see the clouds i can hear the birds chirp the, i can see the birds flying can i remove them i can't so nothing can be done about the world important point nothing can be done about the world then what can you remove or work on if you can't work on the form this is where every human being is going wrong he wants to fix the form if he doesn't like the partner or husband or wife or children he wants hey take shower wear good clothes do this should be done but we get lost in that we want to have a six pack we want to have a v shape we want to have a good haircut we want to have a good uh, uh, shapely beard continuously on the we want to keep fixing the form thinking that it will lead to the essence it will not we cannot fix the form because we did not create the form the divin it it the, that one reality that one guru tatva it itself expressed itself as name and form see that conscious pure consciousness itself expressed as mind and what is mind mind is nothing but name and form mind name is in the mind and form is projected by the mind outside that form nothing can be done but we have an data with us that every day we are able to remove the name from our mind at night isn't it we have data that i can choose not to think about a particular form sorry choose not to think about a particular thought which represents a form so right now you five are there 
maybe I'm looking at Nagaraj, but I'm not looking at